Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. We are going to do a beer from Cloudwater and this beer is available on their website at time of recording this video for four whole English pounds. And we're going to be looking at this. And this is Cloudwater's Aglow. It is a West Coast IPA coming in at 5.8% ABV. Haven't done a cloud water beer in ages, in ages. Um, this one I bought out of uh, Barton's in Ashton Makerfield on the old uh, on Bolton Road. I'm um, not sure what it cost me. The price tags fell off. Um, like I say, it's five point eight. Says that on the front. But, and we'll go for the best before Candon and Freshest by now. So it was canned on the 16th of January 2024, freshest by the 16th of May 2024, and best before the 16th of July 2024. So we're into, what, February? End of February. So it should still be pretty nifty. On the back, there it says, a glow, West Coast IPA, a bold West Coaster. This is a, the little sibling of our crystallography series. That was a crystallography. I had that as, a, as an IPA, as a West Coast IPA, or maybe a West Coast Double. And it was brilliant, really, really, really brilliant. With all the hot burst and clean finish, uh, um, but in a bright, a lighter and crisper body. This edition is hopped with Columbus and Strata for full on dankness with deep grapefruit, tropical flavours, and pine resin on the finish. That, ladies and gentlemen, is right up my boulevard. I love it. I love pine finishes. I love resiny dryness. I love West Coast IPAs. I really do. It's it's there. It's up there with um, barley wines, imperial stouts. Um, I just love a West Coast IPA. I really do. Right. So let's pop it off without any further. How do? So have a look at this label. If anything that you need to see on this, I don't. What do you think? What, what do you think of that? I I don't mind that. It's not great, but I don't mind that. I'm not sure about the new, this brand that they've got with the cloud walls of white across the top. But anyway, let's say let's pop the top. Let's see what we've got going on. Wow! Fill right to the brim with uh, with beer. Get it in. It's pouring a clear. Gold colour, which is real. Let's keep going on it. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is crystal clear. There we go. That's the two thirds in there. Look at that. That's. Oh, what is that? Beautiful. I mean, there's clink. Let's just check it with the carburetor. There's loads of carb clinging to it, but. We get rid of some of that. Wow. Wow. I haven't seen a beer that clear um, in a very long time. Let's go for it. Anyway, beer and glass, what have we got? We did have probably a finger of white, rocky, sudsy head. That's gone. This beer, this, this head on this is, is rapidly, rapidly disappearing. Beer itself, that is crystal clear. I'm even, well, shall we? point really that was just all light wasn't it and um, that is crystal clear it's a beautiful gold colored beer there's streaming carburetor from the bottom of the glass there it goes so there's some of it anyway into what remains of the of the head it looks gorgeous like i say i've not seen a beer where i can peer through this and see you guys on the other side that's for, for a long time Maybe all this cloudy haziness is not all it's made up to me. Anyway, let's get the nose, let's get the aroma, let's see what we can smell. Go for it. Cheers. That fills my heart with joy. Because it's a, it's a beer style that I like. 
it just makes me it makes my, my inner child who shouldn't be drinking alcohol but my inner child again do the, the happy dance oh yeah that smells great it's it smells of tropical fruit that's, that's great fruit sweetness pine tropical fruit shop david Smells really good. It's a really solid, solid West Coast IPA. It's like early morning piss, isn't it? Look at that. Let's go for the body and carbonation. Cheers. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's great. That is so good. Oh, that's, that is very good. Right, so, body, light, to medium bodied. Carbonation. Super light, again, put it in, close your eyes, and just let it do its thing. Don't worry about the flavors and what, just let the bubbles tickle. Beautiful, super light, almost not there. That's quality. I don't like the head sort of hung around a little bit, but you know, we can't have everything. Let's go for the big taste. Cheers. Sensational. For a 5.8% West Coast, that drinks like it's 6.5%. It's stunningly good. There is a little pocket of sweetness, just popping along up front. It's citrusy, it's grapefruity. Then it goes zesty and pithy, but I say you got this little, these little bits of sweetness pop across the backbone of the beer, <clears throat> and that kind of just keeps the citrus stuff, which is really zesty, pithy stuff, all in check. Back end. It's where this beer shines. Back end, it's dry. It's piney. It's resinous. It's dank. It's great. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. I would happily sink a four pack of these and not think anything of it but it's so nice that bitterness that pine resiny dryness is just perfect it really is it feels like it's it it, it feels like it's like we're drinking a higher abv beer it feels like this is a six and a half percent beer it's just Glorious. I don't do many cloud water beers because finding them is a bit tricky for me. I don't want to particularly want to go on the website and play premium if I can get it through a bottle shop and pay just that lip pay a little bit less. Because Barton's notoriously, if they have them, they pay a little that you pay a little bit less than what's on the website. So if this is like four quid on the website, I could probably pay for like three eighty, something like that. Three twenty, three fifty. Because they rely on people for buying bulk. Um, this is delicious. So when I can get my hands on cloud water, I do enjoy. And it, it again fills my heart with 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 joy. It's that these are making still making pumping out and making great beers. So let's wrap this review before I start rambling. <laughs> or stop me rambling. This is a glow. From Cloudwater, this is the West Coast IPA, 5.8% ABV. Do I like it? Absolutely. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Would I recommend to friends without a shadow of a doubt? This is brilliant. I am. Um, if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Cloudwater website in the description box, which is down there. Do the thumbs up if you like the video. Do the thumbs down if you don't subscribe in this bottom corner here. It, um, if you're watching for the first time, please do subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. 
Do you know what I mean? I hit the notification button, give you some notifications when I've done a new review. I'll see you in the next one. Stay there, stay safe. Hey, Leo.